Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right. All right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. All right. So um, Bitcoin hit 50 thousand and so we want to talk about it because someone's like currency you know i know for bitcoin hit fifty thousand. i know you talk about it on patreon but can you you know can you talk about it here on youtube as well yeah okay so we're celebrating bitcoin hitting that fifty thousand mark yesterday and they, i think it hit it today as well i'm not sure if it did or not um but uh bitcoin's at forty nine thousand. Yeah, day a couple of days uh you know it's funny because bitcoin had a chance to go to forty nine thousand. For the Super Bowl, and it just didn't want to for some strange reason, right? So, um, it went to forty-eight thousand, like seven hundred or something. It couldn't get to forty-nine thousand, so that was an interesting key. That I was like, hmm, Bitcoin, Bitcoin did not get the forty-nine thousand. So, and that that's really interesting because we said if Bitcoin can get the forty-nine thousand, then I mean, it might it, it might be uh, they they might be singling singling for the forty ers but they didn't. They got the forty eight. It's like forty eight thousand seven, so that was a sign that the, that the forty nine ers were not going were going to be close, but they weren't going to win. And Bitcoin, I mean, they they put it they put it right in Bitcoin, right? It got close to forty nine thousand, but it didn't get there. And that's the same thing. Forty nine ers got close, but they didn't get over the hump, right? Patching Mahomes takes on the title, right? So so um, interesting. And then the next day, Bitcoin goes to forty nine thousand, fifty thousand, and plus, right? So that was really interesting. They, they literally did not want to go to forty nine thousand for the forty ers and then it did the next. And they pro, of course, everything is programmed. They programmed it not to go to forty nine thousand on the Super Bowl, and because they didn't, because they knew that the Chiefs were gonna. I guess they knew the Chiefs were gonna win, or they didn't want the forty ers to win. I don't know. But anyways, uh, but but God already apparently God told Apostle Solomon that uh that the Chiefs were going to win, right? I, I didn't see that. I didn't see the video. I don't think she made a video. That's why I think she made, I think it probably were, she probably said something in a community post or something like that because I didn't see any videos from her on the Chiefs were going to win the Super Bowl. Um, so, I, but I, I guess she, I guess she saw, said it in a community post that God told her the Chiefs were going to win and they were going to win it by in a, in, a, in a close, in a close game or by three or something, whatever it was. I, I don't even know what the ending of the score was. I, I can't remember, but, um, either way it, it is what it is. They won by four, didn't they? Or did they win by three? No, they won by three because they didn't kick the field. <laughs> they didn't kick the extra point. So they won by three. Okay. So I think he, I think he told her that they were going to win close and by three. I think I, I can't remember if she what she says either way they won right so um it is what it is all right so let's look in here and see we got some gems now that bitcoin is hovering around at forty nine thousand. you know the man i i wish i had um i wish i had uh we could put some um shorts in on marjex at at 50 plus thousand plus you know and, and uh, I would be in the money right now, right? So uh, I don't know why I didn't do that. I said I was going to do that on Patreon, and I didn't do it for some reason. Because I, cause I, cause I didn't think, I didn't want it to go past, you know, you know that and, and, and explode up to 55,000, uh, and then all of a sudden I'm, 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 I'm get being liquidated, right? So I, I, I didn't want that to happen either, though. Okay, because, you know, we're in an environment of, of uh, rate cuts so uh, that are coming, and so we're probably, we're, we're, we're pricing up the markets for 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 rate cuts and stuff. So once we finally get the rate cuts, there will be a sell the news event. So expect May, June, and July to probably be very very bearish months because we're gonna, probably going to sell the news on the rate cuts uh, because we're pricing it in now, right? We're pricing up the markets now for the rate cuts. Okay, so Bitcoin um, 
It's just hanging in there and going sideways. The dollar was pumping today. We talked about it on Patreon. We did call a buy signal on the dollar uh, to the upside for this week. We had the dollar strong this week. Um, we also had cryptos in, in, in the stock market strong this week as well. Um, stock market is kind of kind of not strong today, but um, but the uh, crypto market is still doing okay here on Coin Market Caps. Now you go to exchange, they're probably all down, but here on Coin Market Caps, it's every it's what you've done the last twenty four hours, so it's a little different metrics. Okay, meme coins are busting out this morning, uh, busting loose. I feel like busting loose, right? So uh, the meme coins were was busting loose this morning, and they they were looking fantastic. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, if you missed the uh, the buy the, the the buy alert on uh, GLQ a couple days ago, um, when we were on Patreon, when we were charting it and squeezing it, it, it uh, broke out significantly today. So, uh, and this week, so um, hey, that was another one that you guys missed out. If you're not on my Patreon, you're missing out on all the alerts, the meme coin alerts, the altcoin alerts, and the Bitcoin U.S. dollar alert, the U.S. dollar alert uh, has been continuing from two weeks ago, and we called it another, another. you know, we called it for this week again to the upside on, on the dollar, so you guys are missing these calls and alerts, man, so, all right, um, let's see what we have here, let's see if we can find anything that looks like it's ready to uh, make a move or any type of gems. Well, let's just talk about what's going on. Ethereum, you guys know my Ethereum price. That I'm bullish on the markets until Ethereum hits this price range. And I'm not going to tell you guys here because I can't. I, people pay for that information, so that's on Patreon. But, uh, okay, so Ethereum looks is looking more bullish than it, than it has been, so that's good. Uh, BNB, we're still, you know, we're still watching BNB to get into the thousands. I'm not sure why it's take it's so well. We know why it's so hard to get into the thousands now because they they won't allow it, right? So they're they're holding these things back using all their tools, right? So back in the days, these things could really go into the thousands because there wasn't all these tools that they were using against the cryptos, right? Now they're using all of the thousands of tools. That they can use against the crypto markets okay so that's why um bnb is struggling to get to, into the thousands that's why litecoin is struggling to to run into the thousands solana's at 100 bucks um you know if they didn't have all these tools available solana would probably be already be twenty thousand dollars right so let's let's be honest um but anyway solana's at 110 right now i, I we told you guys that um, I was buying more at, I think it was $10 or $15, whatever, $12. I don't know. What, I'm, I'm in at the bottom, right? So, uh, and that's because I've been staking all the way down as well. I have been staking all the way up, all the way down. So, and now back all the way up. So, you know, can you imagine staking from uh, $10 all the way up to $100? It's a 10x plus staking rewards. It's pretty good, man. And so I'm staking, I'm staking into the thousands on Solana here uh xrp been very quiet and disappointing but you know it's gonna have its time to shine and take over the world and when that time comes it that time comes right now it's just blah and disappointing until it it's time for xrp to do its thing right and when it does it's going to be the number one it probably gonna, it might take over bitcoin and be the number one uh, all, uh number one token i don't know if that's gonna happen or not but we got xrp going very high here um once it's time to integrate with the banks and stuff that could be this year that could be next year we don't we're gonna wait and see how that plays out all right uh and they're dragging this case out you know for the final judgment and they're just dragging it out and dragging it out and dragging it out right so um all right what else what else can we find here uh cardano avalanche we recently had a buy uh, a buy signal there, a buy alert on Avalanche. It made us a little bit of money. Oh, it actually made seven. So this was all last week. So these calls were last week. So you can see the seven days. So Avalanche is up 16% from our buy alert because it was literally seven days ago, possibly about seven days ago when we were calling all these things, uh, these alerts. So you can just you know go to my Patreon and see those videos from last week. Um but we had, a, I think we had a buy call on ADA Avalanche. And ADA is up eight, almost 9% on the seven days. Avalanche is up 16% in the last seven days. 
We also had a we also had a buy on uh, Chainlink from way from several weeks ago, and our first our target was twenty dollars. We did hit our first target. It's, it is up five percent on the week. In the last seven days, I mean, um, but we hit our first target of twenty dollars there on Chainlink. All right, we had a buy call on Tron as well last week. And uh, I know Tron has come down significantly, but we did we did we basically hit our target on Tron as well uh, last week, um, or the, or over the weekend. I forgot. I think it was last sometime, sometime last week, or over the weekend, something like that. But anyways, Tron Tron target we 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 you know, we got a few satoshis away from that Tron target, but you know people are gonna sell before the target because they think other people are gonna sell so it is what it is um Matic, we're looking for one dollar and we haven't got that yet so it's still up eight percent from our from our our um buy call there on polygon now everything is going to the upside because of bitcoin so it was easy to make these calls last week you know so so you know it is what it is right you know just follow the markets right now we didn't call everything so we don't we called those plays um we have we have we also have an alert out on etc and we, you guys have that we have the targets you guys got my the video i did for the uh top price of etc for this year so a lot of you guys know the target price on that one already uh from that video you can go watch that video but uh etc another one there and uh where's that now it's up six percent on the week okay good 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 optimism i know nothing about that um but it's sitting there and it looks and it's sitting there okay. I mean, three billion. I don't even know nothing about this token and or coin, and it's at three billion dollar market cap. I, I where did it come from? I don't know what it is. Aptos, I know that one that's at three billion. Near protocol, I know that one that's at three. And injective, I know that one. A uh, stellar, stellar still in the stellar still in the top 30 after literally going sideways for uh three years now so that's pretty impressive for stella lumens man pretty impressive to go sideways for three years and still be in the top 30. um caspa and um the other uh, other guys here stacks was a great call caspa was a great call last week as well look at caspa even with the drops even with the drops today right and yesterday cast was still up 36 percent on the week in the last seven days so when we called caspa to for 15 cents was our target we got close we got 14 eight or something so we, we we uh celebrated the bulls on that call there um and then also stacks was a great call we we had as well and, as, and um so that we said it looks like it looks like a um a play like chain link um and uh, so if you watch my videos you're gonna hear me say that i said i said uh, on patreon i said uh this looks just like chain link folks it's, it's gonna go here and uh we, we put an alert on stacks and it went crazy as you can see it's up 45 percent in the last seven days i just so so just these calls alone i mean from stacks caspa to the other ones at the top i mean it was just it was but that's because bitcoin had the momentum to the upside and we just captured it with the with some of these altcoins that's all it was really right but some of these things really did well caspa and stacks really outperformed uh, the markets there filecoin looking good as well up nine percent and uh v chain another one that we we called as well for last week uh has the same setup as well but um it just hasn't gotten past the green line yet on, on patreon but it's up 13 percent as well from our call um all right the graph up nine percent we got it going over a dollar right so you guys know that our top price is a dollar for this year so so we got we got the graph to one dollars up nine percent for the week so that's pretty good everything here is up so it doesn't really matter uh algorand is same thing we called that one last week as well it's up nine percent as well and uh flow i don't know nothing about flow flow i don't know i don't even know what this is um let's see circulating supply 1.4 billion okay yeah, I don't know anything about flow. Okay, quant. A lot of people talk uh, talk about quant, and they say, "Yeah, I need more quant and stuff." So I don't know much about quant, but I know I know it exists. I know quant, but I don't know anything really about it. I'm not sure if it's quantum physics or quantum <laughs> quantum uh, quantum um, web three or quantum uh, web browsing or quantum something else. Quantum systems. Uh, the quantum digital system, I guess I'm, I'm not sure what that is, but 
it, it, um, it has probably something in, in that field. It's already at a hundred and three dollars though. So uh, yeah, it only has twelve million tokens. Twelve million tokens, a hundred and three dollars. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it, I'm pretty sure it can go. I it can go into the thousands, right? So with only twelve million, so I might have to do a video on Quant on my top price of Quant for 2024. So I might have to do a video on that. So okay, so I'll save that for and I'll do a video on Quant there, Phantom up ten percent and the SNX up fourteen. So a lot of a lot of the things are looking good here. Theta up thirteen percent last seven days. Um, and the rest of the AXS and Dimension um up forty eight percent. Wow, nice. Tezos and stats. I don't know anything about that. Okay. DYDX up nine percent. And then we have this uh I don't even know what it's called. Pi net is it a thigh is it pi or thigh or I don't I don't know. <laughs> pi pi is it I don't I don't know how to say it, but anyways, uh P Y H uh, PYTH network. Um, I think they had an airdrop or something. They were giving out an airdrop or something, but this thing has been pumping, man. So I'm going to keep an eye on that one, man. I don't know anything about it, but I've been seeing people talk about it. So it's up nice in the last seven days. So shout out to them. Blur net, blur token. Uh, chill as I know, I know about some sports stuff. When, when the games get going again, um, when the World Cup and all that stuff be going, you bet, man, Chile is, is going to pump. So um, this summer, is, uh, isn't this summer the, the uh, what is this summer? It's not the, is this this summer the Olympics? I don't know. It's 2024, so I'm not sure if this summer is the Olympics or not. Is this summer the Olympics or is it the, uh, I know the NBA is playing. Uh, the NBA Dream Team is playing. Well, not the Dream Team, but the NBA US team is playing. Um, this summer, so it might be the Olympics this summer. I don't know. So watch out for Chiles, man, because they're 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 uh sponsored with all these um big soccer companies and uh, companies and all the the Olympic stuff and all that stuff, and they really they really get going. They really explode to the upside. Um, when um when this stuff happens, so one to watch there for if the Olympics are this. Uh, matter of fact, let me get my phone. How about I just use my phone to find out. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing over here that we got Google, right? Um, let's see, Olympics. So let's go here, Olympics. Yeah, the Olympics are this summer. Wow. Okay. So watch out for Chiles. Chiles is gonna be a gem, um, because they're connected with a lot of the uh, Olympic stuff and 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 the uh and the and the sports teams and soccer teams and all types of stuff uh globally, right? So. They usually pump like crazy when when the Olympics go and stuff like that. The World Cup Olympics, they were pumping in the World Cups last time. So, um, okay, so February, uh, not February, but Friday, July twenty sixth, um, twenty twenty four through Sunday, August eleventh, twenty twenty four is the Summer Olympic Games. So the United States are going to be uh, playing, led by. Steph Curry and LeBron James and others, right, will be in the Olympics uh, for the men's, and that's basically all we really care about. I mean, uh, <laughs> now, uh, I think there's going to be flag football. I think they're introducing flag football in the Olympics as well. So that's going to be really interesting. American's flag football team. You know, I might have to get, like, some of the speedy guys that nobody could cover, like Tyreek Hill and others on the team there. Maybe Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback with Tyreek Hill and some of the guys on there. Right. Um, for the flag football Olympics, that would be that's going to be interesting. Uh, I love the I love for some reason. I love the uh, those summer Olympics. I hate the winter Olympics for some winter Olympics are awful for me. Um, but the uh, but I can watch the I can watch the uh, the summer Olympics all day long. Um, tennis. I can watch the, the tennis. I can watch the basketball. Of course, I can watch the track and field is probably the one everybody loves the best um except for the basketball and of course the soccer um which they call football right so i can watch all that in the olympics i mean i love the summer olympic um the the summer olympic games i don't have a problem watching i mean i 
rarely do watch that stuff, but I don't have a problem watching it if it was on, right? If I see it on, I have no problem watching it. It's not like I see it and then turn and then quickly turn it off, you know? So so I don't have a problem with the summer game. The winter is just un unwatchable. And also swimming. The swimming is always always great as well. So, and then you have the gymnastics. I mean, this is so much, right? You got so much, man, that you got you can't forget the gymnastics, right? Those girls be out there, um, you know, trying to get gold and, and make history, man. It's, it's uh, incredible. So, anyways, um, yeah, watch out for Chiles because if you see Chiles do a hundred X here. And that's because you got companies and people are pumping the crap out of it uh, for the game. Now, it does have 8 billion coins in circulation. So, 100x is probably out of the question. That would put it at an 8 billion on market cap by the summertime. And maybe, maybe it can get there. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, not, even at a, it's not even at a billion market cap now. So, that would be a 10x from here if it hit an 8 billion market cap, wouldn't it? No, that would be. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll, yeah, it will be because it's almost a, it's almost a, uh, it's almost a ten cents right now. Okay, so just a ten x. Yeah, so I'm so that's actually possible. That's actually possible by by this summer for the Olympics that Chile does a ten x from here and goes from a eight hundred million dollar market cap to an eight billion dollar market cap because of this because of the Olympics. Okay, so that that is possible. It'll be overinflated, but. And then, and then once the Olympics start, it'll be a sell the news event, right? So don't you know? Don't sleep on Chile as there at number at seventy seven. All right, so that we're gonna put that as one of the sleepers gems for for this summer because of the Olympics. Um, so I didn't even think of I I, I literally thought about that like maybe a couple of weeks ago. I said, hey, I gotta I gotta maybe get some Chiles for the Olympics that are coming up. And I was like, is the Olympics this year? I thought it was because I've talked a lot. I remember LeBron and them talking about it. So, anyways, um, NEO is still in the top 100? Wow, I didn't even know that thing existed. Okay, remember it used to be Ant Shares a long time ago? And then it, they switched it to NEO, and then you were able to stake it and get rewards and stuff? Or was it Reflections? You were getting, I don't know, I'm not sure if you were getting, we were getting Reflections, or, or you could stake it or, and get rewards, or it was Reflections for holding it. I can't remember which one it was. But either way, that was that was a, that was interesting. Long time ago, and it still only has seventy million tokens in circulation. Wow, I don't even know what people do with any of it now. But wow, what a long time ago! Is that the same? That got is that the same NEO or was that a, or that or was that a different one? I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm maybe 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 I have my, maybe, maybe I have the Joe Biden memory right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking that's the that's the NEO that used to be Ant shares. Uh, okay. So anyways, let's, let's wrap this video up for 20 minutes. We're over 20 minutes now, but I went long there on Chile's because I think that's going to probably be a 10 X play from here into the summer, uh, into the summer, uh, Olympics there. So, okay. Um, what else is going on? What else is a gem here? We mix came out of no, I think that was an airdrop. I'm not sure if it was not woo. Is there and uh, Ethereum name service? What in the world is that? And then you got Gala with the gaming and everything. The gaming sector is, in cryptos is still kind of blah, right? It's not, it's not on fire, you know, not even close, right? But there's some people that that push gaming stuff, and some of the gaming cryptos do well here and there, but overall as a sector and popularity to the main to, to the retail it is not even it's not even hot right now the same thing with the same thing with the uh nfts just they're all like dead right now right so it, it, they're starting to bubble a little bit but on a low surface right and then we have to wait until the bulls real bull cycle hits 2020 probably 2025 is when gaming and the nfts are going to be on fire again um and uh yeah so that's gonna be interesting to see but and then of course Terra Luna Classic is there as well I don't know what this is uh frac shares I don't I don't know eCash I've seen that one before it's been there for a while but okay and of course Terra Luna Classic is a gem down there it's down three percent though today but it's, it is up eight percent on the week so on the last seven days all right so there you go and, and people like this one too um Genosis I think is what it's called. 
I don't, is it called Genesis or Genosis? Because it's, it's, it's spelled gen, Genosis, right? But you can always say Genesis, right? So you never know. You never know. But people like people actually like this one too. So you might we might be sleeping on this one. But it is up. It is at two hundred seventy nine dollars. There's two. There's only two point five million. Now think about that. There's two point five million tokens and is at two hundred seventy nine dollars. And yet CLS, you know CLS. Let's go to CLS real quick. CLS is um if I can scroll up, can I scroll up CLS is um well I think one point five million circulation and it's under a dollar. I mean it doesn't even make I, I can't I can't I mean coal stacks. I mean what is going on? Oh, this thing is yeah, nineteen cents. This thing has one point five million in circulation. When is somebody gonna real when is somebody with with, with big money like a hundred million dollars in there gonna say, Hey look, this thing is at nineteen cents and with only 1.4 million circulation, everything else with this type of circulation is at $100 to $500. And this thing is sitting over here with one point at, at under 20 cents. Like, pump the crap out of this thing, right? So, uh, I was wishing that this thing would come back down about three cents so I could load so I could load up on it there. Uh, but what do you think this thing's gonna be in the bull cycle, guys? Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a video on coal stacks. I'm gonna do a video on coal stacks. I'm going to do a video on, what was the other one? I can't remember now. There was another one I was supposed to do a video on. Um, oh yeah, I, I got, I'm going to do a video on Genesis or G Genosis. I'm going to do a video on Genosis, Cold Stacks, and there was one more. Uh, so I'm going to do, uh, which one was that? I got to remember it. Uh, it wasn't Optimism, which I might want to do. A, I might want to do something on that one, but. Uh, I still haven't done anything else. I still haven't done a video on stacks yet, have I? Uh, wh which one was it? Not the graph. Um, wasn't flow, wasn't flare, wasn't any of these, wasn't Tezos. Where, which one was it? I think it was this one here. Was it the, this, uh, P H T, uh, P Y T H uh, network? I don't even know what it's called. And it was it was Chiles. That's what it was Chiles. But I still wanted. I still need to do one on this one too. So okay. So there's some work I need to do here for the uh, top one to the my top price for 2024. I still got some videos to crank out. So I might I might do it on this one. I don't I don't know how to say the name though. I'm not sure if it's Pi or Pi Thai Thai Pi. I don't know. I don't know if the P is silent or not. I don't know. Um, but either way, uh, I, I want to do a video on this one. Chiles. Genosis and coal stacks, and it might be one. It might be one more. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, okay, so they and then and maybe even stacks because stacks is going crazy right now. So I might do a video on stacks as well. All right, so I got some top. I got some uh, top. Uh, my top price for twenty twenty four videos uh, to come in. So look out for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.